that I learned in quarantine. <sighs> I'm gonna get this song together eventually, but that's what we got so far. Hello, hello, my name is Akos, and welcome to my channel, Akos, where are you at? Carol Baskin killed her husband. This is something that I barely learned during quarantine, so just don't count. But on things that I learned in quarantine, I will be dropping a few videos about certain skills or maybe certain minute things that I've learned during this time of being trapped at home. That's about it. The name, the name says it all. Things that I learned being in quarantine. So, <laughs> today's episode, the thing that I learned in quarantine was a so in. So I will talk to you about how I went from to so keep watching to find out how I actually managed to do my own sew in. So this video by no means is not a tutorial. I repeat, this is not a tutorial. I will however refer you to the person that I learned how to do my sew in from. I'll put her somewhere on this screen. So you'll see her channel and then the video that I went to to learn how to do my own sew in. Um, I can't teach you nothing. I can't teach you I will just provide more information to other channels that I went to to learn something. So make sure that you check out her channel if you actually want to learn how to do your own sew-in. This I'm actually just going to talk about my process and then we will talk about maybe other things that I will be learning or trying to learn during this lockdown. I will insert some videos. It's not clear at all. I try to get my mom to record it for me. <laughs> It's, 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 you'll, you'll see it but I try to insert I'll insert some videos in here of the the braids that I did I followed her exact braid and pattern I'll include some clips from her original video too and then maybe put it side by side with my braid pattern and how I did it I didn't record myself doing a sewing because to be honest with you if it didn't turn out well I just was never gonna talk about it <laughs> I, I just would never talk about the fact that I attempted to do my own sew and that that would have been the end of that so I'm glad that it turned out really well so um, I think I'm going to try to keep this for maybe two to three weeks this is going on week two and we'll see how it looks during week three um, if it looks good even after that I'll keep it one more week after that and then maybe I'll learn another skill of how to do my own crochet. Now that I am scared for, because I've seen some real funky looking crochets. So I'll look for another YouTube video to follow so I can show you how that turned out. <laughs> When I wake up, first thing I look in the mirror. Oh God, is it me or? Hey, find I find so dangerous. I know the bab. How you guys be insecure amongst my friends? I'm the most handsomest who gets customers in Los Angeles. You can't count fans I get. They even wanna use creams that I suggest. I find past you, I find past hair. My skin too neat, I dye my hair. They just can't keep up the style I get. I dare you speak up, you can't. I guess I use coconut oil, not even share butter. I'm so supreme, some even call me Tata, like I be butter. I sure say I never ever go be blue band, I go be planter. Oh, Fini. A quick overview of why I wanted to learn how to do my own sewing. I have been wanting to learn this for a very long time. I've had a lot of issues with going to different salons, scheduling an appointment, getting there early, Sitting there waiting, 30 minutes later, nothing. Waiting an hour later, nothing. Where is this girl who's about to do my hair? I've just devoted my entire day to sitting in this salon for what? 
but then the end results be cute but then I pay like close to $200 and I'm just like why did I do this to myself but then I repeat the cycle and I do the same thing over and over and over again like get it in your head but anyway I remember the worst hair salon experience was during my prom when I was in high school I went there early in the afternoon I had an appointment by the way I went there early in the afternoon I went there by myself so every time I used to go to the salon as a kid when you go they barely pay any attention to you like if you didn't go in with with an adult and they dropped you off they barely pay any attention to you so I set up an appointment I got in there sat down hours hours later the girl never even told me why it was taking so long and I'm just sitting there. I called my mom, told her what was going on. Um, I told her maybe they might get to me soon. So we'll see. Mind you, I had to go to prom that night. So I'm just sitting there and then there was a guy in the salon who was like, I'm so sorry, sweetie. Like, she's busy. If you want, I can take care of you. Like, no one else spoke to me but him. Not even the lady that I set up an appointment with. So he was like, she's busy, I can take care of you. So he came up and then he did my hair. That was the cutest sewing I've ever done. If I find a picture somewhere, I will insert it in this video. But that was such a cute sewing. It fit my face so perfectly. I never got his name. So I haven't seen him ever since. From then, it's gone downhill. <laughs> you find a new stylist to do a sew-in. If y'all live in the Atlanta area and you have maybe a professional sew-in lady, sew-in guy, let me know. But the ones that I've found so far, you go on their website and you try to make an appointment, right? First, you have to pay a deposit. So I'm like, okay, well, whatever. You want to make sure that I actually come in, right? So your deposit is protecting you. And I have to come in on time and I have to give you advance notice if I'm not gonna come in right so that's for you I'm like okay well whatever so I pay the deposit and then you get there mind you you're washing your own hair before you get there you're blowing out your own hair before you get there they're braiding your hair for you and then they're sewing in and then maybe they're shaping it or like cutting it into the style and curling it how you want them to but you get there and somebody else might be braiding your hair, the person you didn't make an appointment with. Because the person you did make an appointment with ain't there. So you just sit there. The last appointment that I went to, I got there at, uh, I think I got there like 9.45. The appointment was supposed to be at 10. I got there at 9.45. I sat there waiting for the girl, nothing. Around like 10.15, I text her and I'm like, hey, I'm in the store, are you coming in? And she's like, oh, I'm so sorry, I put your appointment down for 10.30. I thought your appointment was at 10.30. And I'm just like, so if this was me that was late, you would have been like, I didn't give you any notification. <laughs> so I kind of just have to either reschedule and cancel or or come in and if you're busy with somebody I just have to wait because I've messed up your schedule right so I'm like are you I, I guess I ain't got no option I'm sitting here with my head looking nappy so <laughs> so what am I gonna do so I just sit there and after um, after maybe 11 o'clock she shows up she still didn't even show up for that 10 30 time she showed up around 11 o'clock she did my hair and when she was done with my hair, ooh, excuse me, y'all, people. But um, she comes in, she does my hair. After she finishes my hair, she tells me that she doesn't accept cards. Now, you know, I, I was thinking maybe she wouldn't accept cards, like debit cards or anything, and she would just only accept cash. But it didn't dawn on me to get money out before I got there. And when I was sitting there, I saw like another person in the in the salon. She had a card reader. So once I saw that, I was like, oh, okay, well, that's a, a, a sign of relief. I don't have to stress about that. But when I finished and she told me that, I was like, crap. Well, can you use her card reader? And I was thinking about it. I'm like, they are individual people. Like when you go to salons nowadays, it's like individual stylists that have paid for their seats. And they're there working as individuals. It's not very common. Well, not the ones that I've been to anymore but I guess not so when she finished my hair she was like well there's a bank around somewhere like around the corner you can look it up on your GPS if you need to and go there mind you when you are in Atlanta like midtown downtown Atlanta 
it's sometimes hard to find your way around small roads hard to find parking and it was about to rain after I just got my hair done so I asked her um, at this point I, I had just returned back from China I didn't really know much about cash app or anything like that I think that whole movement of people using uh, money apps and things like that happened when I was gone and became more of a big deal while I was gone so when I came back I didn't even have cash app on my phone so I knew about it and I asked her and she was like yeah I have cash app you can just send it to me in cash app instead so I got in my car and I was still considering going to the bank but I was like nah whatever I'm gonna just cash app her this money right I cash up her the amount that I owe her. She then tells me, oh, by the way, you have to add extra to the amount that you owe me because Cash App charges a fee. I think she knew. She knew that I knew nothing about Cash App. She knew. So when she told me this, and like, it's a stressful situation where it's about to rain, you're trying to get home, you don't know what's going on, and I was like, whatever whatever take 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 whatever so I didn't realize that cash out if you get the money and you want it instantly then you have to pay a fee to get it instantly but if you get the money and you wait like a few days a few business days I think it's usually two business days then it's free without a charge to get your money out and put it directly into your account I guess she wanted her money that day right like after all the inconveniences you've put me through, me coming here, you being late, <laughs> me waiting a little over an hour for you to get there, right? You not telling me that I, I couldn't pay with cash and I'm thinking I can use a debit card. Now you want me to add extra cash to it and I'm pretty sure I added more than that fee because I remember adding a few dollars. I know that fee is like a few pennies, sometimes like maybe a dollar and some cents, but I remember adding, I think maybe like $5. So that's probably her built-in tip <laughs> that was there. So, ta-da, I got played. I got played. Anyways, so going back to why I wanted to learn how to do my sewing, that's why. <laughs> That's why. So from that point, I was like, I need to learn how to do this myself because braiding is not that difficult of a task for me to do. It's just a matter of doing several cornrows and making sure that it's flat enough. That's my issue. Like it takes me a long time to do it, but I know eventually I can do it. So braiding is not bad. The hardest part that I thought it was going to, well, what I thought was going to be the hardest part was the sewing part because my mind couldn't really grasp how that works. So when I found this girl's video and I already had hair, I have like a this hair, this natural textured hair. It's all bunned <laughs> back here. I don't know if you can tell, but I had this natural textured hair and it's not perfect by any means, but it blends well with my own hair so I don't have to like super straighten my own hair that much. So that's how I learned how to do my own sewing. Good night, good morning, good afternoon, whatever time you're watching this. Thank you for watching. Share and subscribe. Let all of your friends know to come check out my videos. I have tons of videos on this channel, so please check it out. And thank you for watching. I usually post every Tuesday by 3 p.m. if life doesn't get in the way. If it does, then it's just gonna be extended. But if not, I usually post on time every Tuesday. Uh, rise and shine, gotta get the day started. Sun beaming in my face is the blessing.